If you double the number of experiments you do per year, you're going to double your inventiveness. A brand for a company is like a reputation for a person. You earn reputation by trying to do hard things well. In business, what's dangerous is not to evolve. You have to be willing to be misunderstood if you're going to innovate. Life's too short to hang out with people who aren't resourceful. Put the customer first, invent, and be patient. A company shouldn't get addicted to being shiny, because shiny doesn't last. If you do build a great experience, customers tell each other about that. Word of mouth is very powerful. Your margin is my opportunity. If you don't understand the details of your business, you are going to fail. My own view is that every company requires a long-term view. The best customer service is if the customer doesn't need to call you, doesn't need to talk to you, it just works. I knew that if I failed, I wouldn't regret that. But I knew the one thing I might regret is not trying. If you're competitor focused, you have to wait until there is a competitor doing something. Being customer focused allows you to be more pioneering. You don't want to negotiate the price of simple things you buy every day. There are two kinds of companies, those that work to try to charge more and those that work to charge less. We will be second. Kindness is a choice. It's the right business decision to experiment more. Frugality drives innovation. Keep our competitors focused on us while we stay focused on the customer. I believe you have to be willing to be misunderstood if you're going to innovate. It's not an experiment if you know it's going to work. If you're not stubborn, you'll give up on experiments too soon. And if you're not flexible, you'll pound your head against the wall and you won't see a different solution to a problem you're trying to solve. We expect all our businesses to have a positive impact on our top and bottom lines. Profitability is very important to us or we wouldn't be in this business. I don't want to use my creative energy on somebody else's user interface. The keys to success our patience, persistence, and obsessive attention to detail. It is very difficult to get people to focus on the most important things when you're in boom times. Invention by its very nature is disruptive. If you never want to be criticized, for goodness sake don't do anything new. Profitability is very important to us, or we wouldn't be in this business. Be stubborn on vision, but flexible on details. One of the huge mistakes people make is that they try to force an interest in themselves. You don't choose your passions. Your passions choose you. Patience, persistence, and obsessive attention to detail. Work hard, have fun, and make history. I don't want to use my creative energy on somebody else's user interface. Your brand is what other people say about you when you're not in the room. Obsess about customers, not competitors. If you decide that you're going to do only the things you know are going to work, you're going to leave a lot of opportunity on the table. 
it's hard to find things that won't sell online. The human brain is an incredible pattern matching machine. If you're competitor focused, you have to wait until there is a competitor doing something. Being customer focused allows you to be more pioneering. In the old world, you devoted 30% of your time to building a great service and 70% of your time to shouting about it. In the new world, that inverts. There are two kinds of companies, those that work to try to charge more and those that work to charge less. We will be the second. We are stubborn on vision. We are flexible on details. If you only do things where you know the answer in advance, your company goes away. If you're long-term oriented, customer interests and shareholder interests are aligned. A company shouldn't get addicted to being shiny because shiny doesn't last. All of my best decisions in business and in life have been made with heart, intuition, guts, not analysis. Sometimes we measure things and see that in the short term they actually hurt sales, and we do it anyway. We are comfortable planting seeds and waiting for them to grow into trees. There are two ways to extend a business. Take inventory of what you are good at and extend out from your skills, or determine what your customers need and work backward even if it requires learning new skills. Friends congratulate me after a quarterly earnings announcement and say, good job, great quarter. And I'll say, thank you, but that quarter was baked three years ago. We innovate by starting with the customer and working backward. That becomes the touchstone for how we invent. Failure and invention are inseparable twins. To invent, you have to experiment. And if you know in advance that it's going to work, it's not an experiment. I think frugality drives innovation, just like other constraints do. One of the only ways to get out of a tight box is to invent your way out. There will always be serendipity involved in the discovery. If you double the number of experiments you do per year, you're going to double your inventiveness. To get something new done, you have to be stubborn and focused to the point that others might find unreasonable. If you're watching your competitors, you're unlikely to invent a bunch of stuff on your own. The two companies have not done that well over time. No customer was asking for Echo. This was definitely us wandering. Market research doesn't help. In the end, we are our choices. Build yourself a great story.